this past Sunday, Pastor Jin preached uh, from Hebrews 11 on the life of Abraham and how life is just filled with uncertainties and unknown twists and turns. And boy, was he right. Little did I know that our family would have a little trial, unknown trial, coming our way that same night, Sunday night. See, I woke up early Monday morning to find that our entire first floor uh, was covered with an inch of water. Thankfully, we were able to quickly identify and fix the source of the water problem. We've got a great team working to uh, deal with the cleanup and praise God for homeowners insurance, right? But all too often, I think, when we're going through something challenging or some sort of trial, our initial response is something like, well, maybe God is trying to teach me something or I must not have learned my lesson yet. Maybe, maybe that's the case. But you wouldn't say that to a piece of gold that's being refined through fire, would you? It's not as though the gold hasn't learned its lesson yet. But that's just the process by which gold is purified. You see, trials of all shapes and sizes are not primarily aimed at teaching you something, but they come with the goal of shaping you, of forming you, of refining you. To use a biblical word, sanctifying. And as we walk in dependence on Christ through that moment, God uses the trials to transform us more and more into the likeness of Jesus. 1 Peter 1.7 says that trials of all kinds have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. In other words, you... Your faith is like a chunk of gold, which God puts through the fire, which can hurt, be uncomfortable, and even at times seem unbearable. God puts you through that fire, not necessarily to intellectually teach you a lesson, and not to punish you, but to refine you as his child, with the end result being praise and glory and honor at Jesus' return. Both glory to God and honor to God and from God to his children when he says, well done, my good and faithful servant. So today, what trials are you going through? Small or large, brief or lifelong. Whatever trials you're facing, if you are a follower of Jesus, a born-again child of God, take heart, because those trials are God's gifts of his grace to make you more like Jesus. And like gold, you are being refined for the glory of God, for your own good, and for the sake of the world around you. And so as James says in chapter 1, we can consider it pure, total joy whenever we face trials of many kinds. Because God is working for your good in and through them.